Are you stuck trying to find your next proposal idea? In this video, I want to talk about my three different ways that I have even used to find proposal ideas, both for my comprehensive exams and for my own work. The first method that is a tried and true method is to look at literature reviews. Literature reviews are written by experts in the field that compile a specific knowledge on a specific topic. At the end of every single literature review, there's going to be the conclusion section, which should always include future directions. Now, this is basically like an expert literally handing you your proposal topic because all you have to do is read through their conclusions and what they think should be done next. They're the experts in the field and they have looked at all of this data up to this point. So they would give you a really good idea for what you should propose as what should be done next on this topic. In my own work, I have done this when I was looking at collision cross-section calibrations. And when I looked at different reviews on looking at collision cross-sections, I found that there was a lot of questions about how to best calibrate collision cross-sections. And so what I did in my own work is I actually developed three different studies to answer different questions on how to calibrate collision cross-sections. And so that ended up being a really good idea and I was able to actually carry out that research because I was looking at basically experts recommendations or experts questions and then figuring out how to actually solve those questions. The next way to find where your next proposal idea is going to come from is to look at expanding a topic. And so this one might seem a little tricky, but it's really not. So if you look at any general paper that you're reading, make sure it's a recent paper. But if you look at a recent paper you're reading on a topic you're interested in, ask yourself, how could they have expanded this? So in my own work, I worked on IM mobility analysis of steroids. There was a paper that had recently come out at the beginning of my research where I found that they looked at metal adduction to steroids and were able to see that they saw good separation with different steroids. So my thought was, how do I expand this? And my answer was, well, they looked at one metal, where if I expanded this to look at a panel of metals, that's a whole nother paper and a good topic to research. They've also already shown that this works well with one metal, so I could show that it works even better with other metals. So to be able to do this, two great questions to ask is, whenever you read that paper, could you use that approach and expand it to look at something new. And so this is more like lateral research. So if somebody used one approach to study a specific disease, could you use that same approach to study a slightly different disease, but one that still makes sense? Or in the case that I talked about earlier, you could ask the question of, did they only look at one of the possible variables that you could look at? So in my case, they only looked at one metal, but there's a whole panel of variables that you could have looked at and maybe you could see different results or interesting trends with that. And so a different proposal topic is just to expand and look at different variables that could affect it. And so in this way, you can create a really great proposal topic that is more likely to succeed because you're literally just expanding from the known research but you're using tried and true methods that have been used in papers previously. The last method you can use is to actually combine two different topics. And so if you're reading a paper and you see that they have a specific problem, can you think of a solution that comes from outside of that topic? So for example, in my original proposal oral, which is the qualifying exam I had to do to get into PhD candidacy, we had to write a proposal on a topic that was completely outside of our research area. So from reading literature reviews and from my own experience, I was thinking about personalized medicine. And one of the techniques used in personalized medicine is inkjet printing. Well, in inkjet printing, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but one of the thing is you need certain types of solvents to, that actually print very well. And one of the types of solvents that print really well is water. Well, when you're talking about personalized medicines, a lot of drugs are hydrophobic or they, they don't, they're not very soluble in water. 
And so that is a problem when it comes to personalized medicine through inkjet printing. However, in a completely different field that's more material science, they use something called casein micelles. Casein comes from milk, so you can ingest it, but it actually increases the solubility of hydrophobic um, molecules, including drugs. So for my proposed topic that was completely outside of my field of mass spectrometry, I proposed using casein micelles to encapsulate hydrophobic drugs to get them to be soluble in water for inkjet printing for personalized medicine. So it's just about taking two different topics that aren't normally combined together and just combining them together and creating a new proposal idea. So each of these different methods are really good ways to get good proposal ideas that are novel but are still likely to work. And don't forget, if you are working on research papers, check out my research paper checklist at scientificresearchpaperchecklist.com. I want to know and comment below which method you think is best to use or which one did you not think about before and now you're like, oh, I really want to try that one. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, hit the like button and I hope that you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.